Sweet. So today I was attempting to make some cupcakes for an NBA basketball draft party. <clears throat> Not wanting to spend a whole lot of time. Didn't want it to look quite so hokey just using a pick. So I was trying to get the texture and uh, coloring of a basketball an MB for NBA. And I was finding that uh, online people said to use a paper towel and that would give it some texture. And I was using buttercream that had crusted over, um, but I wasn't finding that it gave me the depth I wanted. So I went to my local shop that uh, sells quite a bit of cookie and cake decorating supplies and I found with her help, um, this it was called a texture set and it came with cookie cutters the shape of a football and other sports equipment um, but it also said on the back that it's not just for cookies but also could be used for cupcakes and then gave instructions using buttercream or, or a um, rolled icing like fondant and it came with cookie cutters as well as uh, several different little impression pads. And I don't know if, how well this is going to show up, but like that one for a soccer ball. So it would leave the indentations all around where icing should be or different colors. As I was looking for basketball, I did use, um, I was excited to try to use anyway this one and on one side it would make indentations on the other side it would be just exactly the opposite where it would leave raised marks and it said to roll with a light um, rolling pin or other like fondant smoother tried that on a couple and it was very hard to see where the lines would be even though there is a slight ridge to it, if you can see that on the video. So I thought, okay, what next? Because um, I was putting in a lot of time and not getting results I liked. So instead, I went to my good old silicone hot pad that had a lot of deep indentations, yet was flexible. Now, for a golf ball, the other pad was very similar except they were round. This had smaller honeycomb type shape. So I thought, well, let's give it a try. And I think you'll see that the result was pretty good. Um, I've got a lot of practicing to do, but the overall, I was very pleased um, with just using what I had on hand. So moral of the story, you don't have to go out and buy specialty products. Use what you've got on hand. And the silicone mats are pretty good for giving an imprint. And this was buttercream that I let crust for, oh, probably hour, hour and a half with a light fan going on. And all in all, I think that they'll do pretty good. All right, just some information on what worked for me. More practice is needed.